So good afternoon, my name is Wolfgang Pieb. I'm with SN Systems at Sony, and I'm here to talk about a feature that we recently put into the PS4 compiler that makes it a little bit easier to debug optimized code. Um, as you probably aware, local variables and parameters are often optimized away soon after the last point of use. Imagine you're, you're sitting at this breakpoint here, this handle error routine that's marked in red, and you want to look at this pointer, it's not there and you have to hunt around for it on the stack frame and the register file, and it slows you down. So in order to solve this problem, we're artificially extending the lifetime of these locals and parameters throughout the end of their lexical scope. So we make them visible in the debugger. To see the effect of this, if you look at this side-by-side -side screenshot here of uh, a Visual Studio debug session, on the left side we compiled the program just with plain minus 03 and minus G, and you're sitting at the breakpoint, and Visual Studio helpfully informs you that the value is not available for, uh, because it's been optimized out. On the right side, if you use that switch that enables our feature, um, you can stop at the breakpoint, and the this pointer is right there, and everything that's pointing to it. So what do we do to implement this? There's a couple of new Clang switches, minus f extend lifetimes, and minus f extend uh, this pointer. The latter is a subset of the former, so when you do if extend this pointer, we only do this for the this pointer itself, not for the rest of the locals. So when you use that switch, we gen the Clang generates a new intrinsic called LVM.fakeUse, the argument being the value of the local or parameter you're trying to extend. Um, we're doing this for all the local variables and at the end of the respective like, the scopes. And, uh, as an algorithm is similar to what we use for the generation of end of lifetime markers. There's a little cleanup structure pushed on the exception handling stack and when it gets popped off, we generate the fake use. Here's a small example, a small routine with a couple of locals and a parameter and uh, the, you can see on the right side the IR that's generated, we're generating fake use calls for each of these locals. And the point to take away from the slide is that uh, the middle one with the the variable j gets generated after its last use, which is the call to use i, and that makes it available after this call, which would not otherwise be the case. What's going on in the back end? We're translating the intrinsic to a new fake use machine op. That's in LVM parlance a meta instruction. It doesn't generate any code and just convinces the compiler to keep the value around. We had to suppress a couple of optimizations to do this. Uh, they would otherwise break up the fake use operand too much and, and destroy the connection with the debug information. The largest body of code we had to add was probably a type legalizer and that because that had to learn about fake use operands and make them palatable to the rest of the compiler. Now we tried to quantify the effect that this had on, on debug location information and we're using a relatively simple measure where we're measuring the percentage of the code that's covered by location information versus the percentage, versus the code that corresponds to the lexical scope. When we accumulate that across all the variables, we find that we get uh, uh, improvement of 15 or 14 percent, respectively, depending on the game we compiled um, for this. And that's for debugging optimized code, every little bit helps. So, of course, we're affecting code generation here, and so the question is, what is the runtime performance effect on this? And we did this with a couple of games. We tested this with a couple of games and, and two benchmarks. And what we saw is with the extend lifetime switch, we um, got a slowdown of about between 5 and 7 percent. And when we use this, the extend this pointer switch, we get a slowdown in one case of 4 percent, but otherwise it was in the noise. So that seemed to be pretty acceptable to our users. Can we draw any conclusions now? I think we do, we can help debugging of optimized code by enabling this feature. We would like to put this upstream eventually. Um, the, feed, the users seem to like it. They say, well, why don't you turn this on all the time? Um, performance impact, as I pointed out, is small, between five and 7%. And if we talk about a dash OG mode that we implement in the future, which means basically optimize with debugging in mind, then this could be a core feature of this mode. And uh, thank you. <laughs>